Redditors who have a job, where they go into other people's homes. Plumbers, electricians, etc. What's the weirdest most disturbing thing you've seen while working in a customer's house? I'm a face painter who does children's birthday parties. I've never had any super sketchy experiences. Just a few rundown homes, but the kids always have fun. I went to one house. Kinda messy and smelly, but no big deal. I started setting up my supplies, and I heard a weird peep sound above me. I look up to see a guinea pig running through a clear plastic tube attached to the ceiling. Then I take a good look around the house and notice the whole place is covered with a network of guinea pig tubes. The mom noticed me looking around and nonchalantly told me they have like 10 guinea pigs. Used to deliver oxygen to people's homes. Saw plenty of weird things. Lots of hoarders. But this one took the cake. He didn't want to let us into his house. But I had to do a home safety assessment before I could set up the equipment. He was anxious about letting me in because his house was mess. He kept telling me about his messy house. Come to find out, it wasn't just messy, it was filled with 200 chickens. He was proud of his show chickens and wouldn't let them live in a barn or coop. The smell was unbearable. Other than that, he was a super nice guy. Food bank delivery to homebound elders. I always fill two banana boxes, a round foot and a half by three and a foot deep, of all types of food, and deliver to his house. One time after delivering to him for three years I have to come inside, because he hurt his foot. He had never thrown out a single box. They lined every wall and entrance. He built a castle around his bed, and a series of paths through his house. It was like thighs pillow forts you would make as a kid but with boxes. I asked him if he wanted help getting rid of them, and he said no, that it was fun, and helped with his dimension. Has super fun. Edit, I'm letting it stay. I'm an electrician, and I was troubleshooting a bad outlet in the bathroom of a former NFL player. I was taking all the outlets apart following them to see if I could trace out the homerons when he comes in and starts talking football. We are in the middle of talking when he just walks over to the toilet and starts taking a shit. I couldn't see him, but there was just a little pony wall between us. He didn't even stop telling his story. It was crazy. I walked out because of the smell. He came out a little later and it was like nothing ever happened. I delivered pizza for about 2 years. I had to deliver to a local motel pretty frequently. One day I go to deliver, and a large lady. I'm talking 6 feet 0 inches 220 was decked out in dominatrix attire. She answered the door ready to get down to business then immediately closed the door and threw a robe on. She apologized purposely and then tipped me $10 for the situation. Edit, to answer some questions. Sure I could have gone in, but when these situations come up at 16 you never play them, like you think you would. Also she took one look at me, and probably thought I was way too young to be her client. Damn baby face I look, like I'm 20 I'll be 30 soon. Long ago I did estimates for fire and water damage repairs for a restoration company. This couple had a smallish fire in their bedroom. When I enter the home it's seemingly normal. Smells like smoke, there was a fire. Makes sense. They take me to the bedroom, and it was the mattress that had endured the majority of the fire, along with some of the wall above the head of the bed and smoke damage to the ceiling. Next to each side of the bed are 10 gallon buckets filled to the brim with cigarette butts, and hundreds of spilled over butts all over the floor. I was just in, or how they could live like this in their bedroom. Especially since the rest of their home seemed tidy and normal. Also completely beyond me, why they wouldn't clean that shit up after the fire, if for no other reason than insurance or justice being able to blame them, rightly, and possibly not pay out. How did the fire start I asked. Required to ask, no idea the husband replied. My boyfriend is a locksmith. During the 2008 recession Las Vegas had hundreds slash thousands of homes that were getting repod or abandoned. The company he worked for would have him go and change the locks to keep people out. And usually this happened in the middle of the night, to limit the possibilities of running into, ex, owners of the properties. I sometimes tagged along. Mostly to explore some of the ridiculously big houses, that people had just left. But helped some of the time. This one house looked totally normal from the outside. You couldn't tell any difference from any of the other cookie cutter. Planned development homes. 
but inside, in every room, there were those timeout dolls. If you have never seen them, they are a doll that stands against the wall with its hands up to its face, and even more creepy usually they have no face, but they look like a kid hiding their face, or pouting after being put in a timeout. When I say they were in every room, I mean every single room, and not just one, but dozens. Lining the walls, not laying down, but standing up against every wall of the house. The house's electricity had been shut off so all we had was flashlights. Walking into each room it did not get less creepy seeing doll after doll. He is already afraid of dolls and this made it so much worse. Altogether we counted 63, but there might have been more. My uncle is a handyman and he went in to do some work for a family in the toilet was just fesses. Not like someone didn't flush. Rather nobody did, and the bowl was just crammed full of hardened stool, which had clearly been an accumulating scenario. Disturbing? Not at all. Weird. A bit. I was a medical equipment delivery guy for a couple years. Went into a dementia patient's house and had to instruct his caretaker on how to set up a large e-tank of O2. As I was kneeling down, my phone went off with my really low-key notification tone, which was a singular beep. Well the pet bad nearby seemed to have taken a shine to that noise and mimicked it perfectly in tone and volume. The caretaker and I looked at one another with her saying I've been here for 6 years and he's never done that before. From then on, every time I delivered and knelt down to re-educate the caretaker, Sop demands it, that bad would instinctively ping me until I let my phone notification sound go off. After which the bird would celebrate by bobbing his head up and down and turning in a circle. Edit, this blew up. The patience is staying. Something tells me a caretaker for a dementia patient would need quite a bit of it. Friendly reminder to check in on your older friends and family who choose to live alone, or with very little supervision with home care. They miss you. A lot. I've posted this before a while back, but used to work pest control. Went into student accommodation to deal with insects. Can't remember what type. Carpet moths or bed bugs. Maybe? Anyway, that's not the point of the story. This one room is fairly clean, but we have to spray all fabrics with the chemical in question to prevent any eggs from having a safe space to jest it. So open up suitcases, wardrobes, that sort of thing. One suitcase is full of used tampons that she was saving for. Fuck knows what reason. Actually. And I don't want to know. Nasty shit. That didn't mention it, just did the job, and tried to avoid eye contact at the end. I painted a girl's room one time, while she laid in bed, and played on her phone and took naps. I knocked and expected her to leave, but she just lay back down. It was very strange. Inspecting an oven a tenant had complained was smoking. Yup, it definitely was. Tenant thought an oven could be used like an outdoor grill. Had been cooking meat 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 directly on the oven racks and all that glorious fat and grease just accumulated in the bottom of the oven and the little drawer underneath. For months. How he didn't burn down the whole damn building is beyond me. I also patched a bullet hole in a shared wall slash ceiling between apartments. One tenant let his girlfriend play with his loaded gun. She stupidly and accidentally fires it into next door neighbor's apartment. Neighbor was playing video games, and didn't notice the bullet come through his wall into the ceiling. Had no clue until the gun-owning boyfriend knocked at his door in a panic, and was relieved to see him alive. Oopsie. Edit. Thanks for the silver. Kind stranger. Edit 2. Bloody awesome my top comment isn't about a bag of used tampons anymore. Bunch of used pregnancy tests on the floor of the teenage daughter's closet. I didn't say a damn word to anybody. I did apartment maintenance for a while. We started quarterly inspections and the first day we opened a door and the smell that came out was indescribable. The guy who was with me was ex-military and he said that we were about to find a body. In the maintenance community this tends not to be a matter of if you ever find a body but when. He told me that he would go in alone if I was uncomfortable with it but I went in too. We didn't find a body, but we found a mountain of trash that took up the entire dining area. And honestly just trash, mostly food packaging, everywhere and that accounted for a lot of the smell. We also found a dog. 
a very sweet golden retriever that was starved for retention. It was obviously being left to just piss and poop all through the unit. It probably hadn't been outside in weeks based off of the smell and general condition of the unit. We went outside, locked up, and called the property manager for her to come by. While we were waiting he came home. The look on his face when he saw us was terrifying. The manager talked to him and they set a plan about clean up and gave a time frame for him to get the unit back to regular. The other maintenance guy stayed with him for a while that evening. When we left the unit he was sure that the guy would kill himself that night. Turns out the renter had recently went through a very rough divorce where his children had been removed from him with very little warning and he was spiraling. I left the company before I learned how it all ended. I hope he is doing better.